What's crack -a everyone? So basically, in the lead up to the Tekken World Tour Finals, it's all but assured that there's going to be, you know, some character reveal. If it's one character or all of them, we don't even know, but it's almost confirmed that Tarada's going to say something at the, at the finals, right? So I thought in leading up to that, the characters that it might be, if it's even legacy characters, I'd check out their top moves. So if you guys, you know, do get those characters, you'll know which moves to use. Um, and yeah, I think there's a pretty high chance it could be Ganryu. Um, so let's kick it off with him and check out his top moves. Also, I just want to point out something real quick. Uh, this doesn't include universal stuff like jabs, down forward ones, down fours, things like that. These are unique moves to the actual characters. So, if you're in the comments saying, There's no down forward one, it's important. Well, that's why, alright? Anyway, let's get underway. Alright, so to kick it off, we got his down forward two. Um, you know, it's your standard generic down forward two that does launch. Um, it's only minus 11. Sometimes they're safe, or sometimes they're like Leo's, it's minus 12. But minus 11 isn't a big uh, risk, I don't think. Um, you know, to throw it out there. And it's a full launch, and it's got pretty decent range, so, yeah. Okay, so next we've got down 1 plus 2. Now this move is great, because it's plus 1, it's a mid, it does pretty decent damage, and most importantly, the counter hit version, it goes into a grab mix-up, where Ganryu grabs them, and you have 3 options of a 1 grab, 2 grab, and a 1 plus 2. That mix-up is pretty decent um, to get if you do get the counter hit, um, and even if you just get the poke, it's still decent damage. So yeah, this makes this a pretty good move. Alright, so next move we got is pretty similar to the last one, um, a few little changes. It's forward forward 2, and it's safe, so you can use it as much as you want. It knocks down a normal hit, and the counter hit version also goes into the grab mix up. So both these moves you can use as much as you want. Um, and they're pretty damaging, so they're pretty decent in my opinion. So, the next move is down back 2. Um, it's obviously a launch up, and it's a low, so, you know, my philosophy is you always got to have a good mix up if you're going to do lots of good mids, and all lows are um, risky, you know what I mean? So, and I mean, in the middle of a fight, it's not that seeable, um, and you get a huge blow, as I said, so you might as well go for the big damage because um, it's a good move. So the next move that we got here, I reckon it's super good. Um, it's down 1-2, right? So down 1 is a very decent um, mid poke. It has great damage um, and puts him in a full crash state, right? But as you can see, there's also an extension of it, which is down 1-2, and it looks super delayed. Um, you know, it, it looks like it's finished after down one, basically. And it's only negative 12, that launch. So, I reckon that's pretty useful. Um, you know, you can poke a lot with down one. And they finally try to retaliate, you can finish it off with the two and you get a full launch. Alright, so obviously if you're going to have a launch punishable low, you're going to have a poking low, right? Um, so basically when you break down all these lows, this is what I felt was the best one, down forward three. Um, it's got a lot of positives to it. Uh, it only does a little bit less damage than he's down for, and is way less risky. Um, it's minus 12 only, and it's plus 5 on hit. So you can set up some cool mix-ups with this, um, some frame traps, uh, because the opponent will know not to press anything if it's plus 5. And if they do, you get easy setups, right? So the next move we got is forward forward 3. Um, as you can see, it's a plus frame move, it's plus 4, it's a mid, um, and it's pretty quick, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, you would use it to establish pressure, um, and it's a pretty good mix-up as well, if someone thinks you're going to finish the round with a low or something like that. Um, because yeah, you get a knockdown, I'm not sure if it actually leads into a combo, but it's decent as a knockdown, pressure tool, um, and just a good mix-up for low mid. Okay, so this move might look kind of weird, but it's really, really good. Um, it's forward, two, then one really quickly. And it's plus four. Um, it sort of like grabs them in, but it's not really a grab. Uh, yeah, uh, it's a high, but it is plus four, so you can establish pretty good oppression with this um, and do anything that's 14 frames or below. 
to mix up your opponent straight after. And it's really quick as well, so yeah, it's a good move. Okay, so this move, when have you guys ever seen a launcher that's plus on block? This launcher back forward two is plus five. Now, I know it does have long startup, but I mean, you know, if you can condition your opponent to always duck, this launcher is huge, and even if it doesn't pay off, it's plus five. So that's crazy, man. All right, moving on to the next move. Forward, forward two. Just think of it like Jack's hug, but it's a high and it's safe. Um, I mean, it's got decent range if you dash in while you do it. Um, and I guess, yeah, so I guess you could use it as a whiff punisher. Um, and I mean, you know, it's safe, so you might as well throw it out. It's at minus eight exactly. Um, and yeah, it's a launcher, so pretty decent. Okay, so if you guys watch any of my other videos, you know I love the laid strings. I reckon they're one of the best additions to Tekken. And here's one for Ganryu. Uh, it's only minus 11, so it's worth finishing. Um, and it's pretty delayable. And they are uh, left head first, face down. So you get a free follow up. Um, and you know, it's good for just to, you know, mess with your opponent a bit, make them think you finished the string, get a free knockdown and a free hit. Okay, so anyone who has a parry or an evasive move or a crush move, um, I think is super good. Um, this is Ganryu's parry. Um, just works like your regular parries, you know, you should be able to set it up with something that's slightly negative. Um, you know, something from zero to negative five or something like that. Um, and yeah, it's a parry that leaves you, leaves them back turned. So, you know, with a bit of experimenting, you can get some crazy stuff off that. Um, and yeah, parries is just awesome anyway. I think every character should have a parry. Alrighty, uh, the next one is while standing 1-2. So unlike any other character, um, Ganryu's while standing 1-2 is a mid and a low. Um, so, you know, as, obviously as a punish, it's natural. But you could like bait things out. Like you could do the while standing 1 and good players will try to duck the low. So you could just do a mid and then another mid. Or wait for them to quickly stand up and then do another low and it's also delayable as you can tell so I reckon this is a super good move um, you know no one else that I know has a wall standing one two punish that's mid low uh, so yeah okay so the last move that we got here is forward plus one plus two so the reason it's last um, and you know it's sort of like an honorable mention is it's a high it's negative 12 but it has massive pushback, so punishing it can be a bit difficult for some people. Um, and yeah, regular normal punishes won't work. You got to do far-reaching punishes, and it allows for some setups. Like as you can see here, I just do the downfall two straight after, and there's enough spacing that when they do a move, they whip in front of you, and you can get a launch. Um, but yeah, it is high and it is negative, so you wouldn't use it all the time, you know. So there you have it guys, there's my personal opinion on what Ganryu's top moves are. Obviously these are all my opinions, so if you guys think there are other moves that are better, um, you know, you can leave them in the comments, whatever. Um, and yeah, I think there's a high chance that he could get in, but even if he's not, it's good to know, because later down the track, you know, there could be 20 DLC characters, we don't even know. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be doing um, the same thing for other characters that I think will be in the game, so I'm going to be doing Julia you know, Zafina, Marduk, and a few others, um, if people like it. So yeah, if you enjoyed, hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.